sparkle I've got here on my lip. I have it on my chin. Finally, a solution for unwanted and embarrassing body hair. I've, I've had this done on me, and it works. Coming up right now on The Doctors. We're going to get to Dallas's amazing and miraculous story in just a minute. But first, Dr. Orton's doing a breakthrough procedure of a completely different kind live today. We've got another great new toy right here on stage, Travis. This is the Almas Soprano XL Hair Removal Laser System. Now, this is a breakthrough product. Hair laser removal has been going on for years now, but there have been problems. Number one, people would get burns. Number two, it would hurt. Number three, it wasn't for everybody. If you had dark skin, you weren't a candidate. So with this technology, you get painless, hairless laser treatment. And I know there's a lot of women out there that are tired of plucking and waxing and tweezing and shaving and bleaching. I have the handpiece here that I want to show you. And that, this is what makes the difference here as far as it being painless because it has a special dual chill sapphire component in here that allows this procedure to be uh, painless. And as I said, it's for all skin types. And we actually have a patient here in the audience, Lisa, that we've been treating. We've been, we have a graphic here to show her before. We've been treating her armpit area, great area to treat for women. And uh, we're going to show how she looks later, as well as doing a live demonstration of this hot new pretty exciting hot like new it. Mr. Like, oh my god well, like oh, dr so. orden said we're going to show lisa's results later in the show after just one treatment we're also going to demonstrate how this high-tech machine works on a woman who has struggled with unwanted body hair her entire life but first we've got some important hot headlines the first one is one that i deal with coming up i'm sure you've all heard of laser hair removal right I'm sure you've also heard it can be very painful and not always permanent, but that's all about to change. We have a new machine that you need. It's right here on our stage. Will it help 20-year-old Abby who's been struggling with excess body hair her whole life? We'll find out next. being able to dress up and go out but then you know I'll put my cute clothes on and my sweaters and everything and I'll look down at my arms and just get just grossed out. If you are someone you know struggles with unwanted body hair then you know how embarrassing it can be and no matter what you try it always seems to come back thicker than before. Well 20 year old Abby has lived most of her life covering up her body because of the extreme shame that she feels. I started shaving in third grade and everybody else didn't have hair on their legs yet. When I was in fifth grade, someone walked up to me and said, oh, look, she's got a mustache. And that was really embarrassing for me. So I went home that day really upset and my mom whipped out the wax and she's like, well, just take care of it. Well, I've got hair on my lip. I have it on my chin. My whole face is fuzzy. It's everywhere. <laughs> I have it all over my arms, my legs, my whole body. And it's really dark. I hated high school. They called me Harry, things like that. And I always was wondering if people were laughing at me behind my back. I don't like to go to the beach. I don't like to wear dresses or skirts or anything that shows my legs off. I always have a jacket on if I'm wearing a tank top. I always have a sweater covering my arms. I don't like people touching my face just because I feel like they're going to feel hair there and it, it grosses me out. I have plucked all my eyebrows out on accident. I've shaved. I've used depilatory creams. I've waxed. I've bleached. I bought an at-home electrolysis system once, which obviously didn't work. I get obsessive with it. Like I sit there and pluck and pluck and pluck or bleach and bleach and bleach and then I'll put makeup on to try to cover it up. The bleaching really kind of irritates the skin under my chin so I have to wear makeup to cover up the marks that that causes. Nothing helps so it comes back every time. I'll put my cute clothes on and my sweaters and everything and I'll look down at my arms and just get just grossed out. I hate it. It's the one thing in my body that I can't control no matter how hard I try no matter what I do. It's just like this battle that I can't win. So unwanted body hair, it's obviously something women are very self-conscious about. 
particularly in certain spots, right? Exactly. And you know, there's a big medical term, hirsutism, which just means excess hair all over your body. It all starts in the hair follicle, which is below the skin. And unless you do something to the follicle, you're not going to get rid of the hair. So shaving and bleaching and electrolysis, all of these things aren't going to do anything. You have to get to the core of the problem, and that's the hair follicle itself. Hair has three phases. It has the active phase, the resting phase, and the shedding phase. So you have to hit it in the right phase to effectively eliminate that excess unwanted hair. And where, Abby, for you is the hair the most troublesome? Um, my arms really bother me a lot, but then on my face it's really the worst. I have it all down here, and, you know, under my and chin. It sounds yeah. like your daily routine is pretty <laughs> remarkable. <exhausting>. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're going to we're gonna see what we can do to help her out. We do have a graphic that I want to show is exactly how the laser works, how that affects hair follicles. Obviously, we first have to shave the hair, and then we, we do the laser treatment, and those beams of light selectively go to the hair follicles. They're targeting the melanin in the, the hair follicle itself, which is a specific wavelength. It hits that. It affects that germinal follicle that produces hair, and basically eliminates it. And the problem for some women is there's a medical reason why there may be excess hair growth. And I know we tested your blood and we Drew just, were talking Abby, about it. We just wanted to check all of our bases. I mean, she doesn't have any signs or symptoms of anything else going on uh, hormonally, but we, we checked you. Estrogen and progesterone were good, but her testosterone actually was slightly elevated. I don't think it's going to mean anything, but we do want her to, to follow up with an endocrinologist. We're going to see the results of this amazing new laser when we come back. It would mean everything to me to be able to get rid of my hair. I've wasted so much time and energy on the hair. It's always been something that's constantly in my head. Like more than anything else, I always am thinking about, oh, are they looking at the hair on my face? Are they staring? What are they looking at? If I could get rid of the hair, it would free so much time for me to live without having to be concerned about it all the time. I would love to have laser hair removal if I had the option. Every single day, day in, day out, it takes at least, you know, 15 minutes to an hour to take care of the hair on my body. I don't care how much it hurts to get it done. If I had to go through, you know, a couple days of pain to get rid of the hair for the rest of my life, I would do it in a heartbeat. Last year, almost a million Americans underwent laser hair removal. It's ranked one of the top five minimally invasive cosmetic procedures. Abby has struggled all of her adult life with unwanted body hair. It seemed like nothing could help her until now. Now, Dr. O, why are you shaving? I'm shaving because you saw it in the diagram. I'm not targeting the hair itself. I want that hair follicle. And that's where this laser that we're going to fire up in one second is going to target the follicle that creates the hair. So you're not cheating? I'm not cheating, no. <laughs> but I have to shave this off because otherwise it's going gonna, it's gonna to burn and go up in flames and we don't want that. Well, thanks to the advanced hair removal laser, we're going to do something for Abby that she's never had done before in our exam area. But Dr. Orton's patient, Lisa, who's in our audience, has already received one treatment for her armpits and is seeing some incredible results. I want to see Lisa's armpit before the treatment. Show us the after. Yay. And I want to put those side by side. Look at that. Not bad. Nice looking armpits. So are you pleased? I'm so happy. I mean, this was my first treatment. It was three weeks ago. It was pain-free, and I'm hair-free, and I'm really happy. And it looks great. Now, Abby, are you excited for maybe some comparable results? Definitely. That would be amazing. So do your work, Dr. Orton. So Warden. here we go. We first have to put some gel on here. Little now will do you, right? <laughs> you have to do... This helps to cool it, and it allows us to move. The key here in using this laser, you have to keep moving. That's one of the reasons why it doesn't get hot. And everyone in the audience who has the goggles, let's go ahead okay. and put those on now. I have my assistant Shona from the Beverly Hills office here today. We have to put goggles on the patient, obviously. You need to repeat these treatments probably six to eight times every six to eight weeks, because as I said, we have different phases of hair growth. Are we ready? 
Okay, good. So, so every six to eight weeks, you're repeating this? That is correct. So and first, you have to have cost? made contact, turn the button. And what's all that beeping? That beeping is just meaning that this is firing, that the light is actually going. I can't feel anything. You're not feeling any pain? So no, no, no pain? nothing at all. Good. And this is zapping those little hair follicles. She's not feeling any pain. And how much does the treatment cost? Each treatment costs about $500. So I'm going to do another pass here for her that we need to do. OK, good. I want to thank Dr. Orton. Good luck, Abby. We hope you see some good results. Thank you.